Hey boys, welcome to Mass Games. My name is Simon and today I'm going to show you how to set up, play and review the game Pedro. Yes, it's written Pedro, but it's pronounced Pedro. And uh, there's another name for this game. It's called Cinch, C-I-N-C-H. And you can check this game out on Board Game Arena. It's currently in beta. I have played it. It's only had about 200 odd people who've played it so far. And I've played it as a three by three game. You can play it two versus two. And ultimately the team with the most points will be the winner. It's a game typically to 100 points, and hopefully this will give you a quick overview to the game. You're trying to win certain cards, which give you certain values. Right, so let me give you an overview. So it's a trick-based game. It consists of a bidding round, basically, to determine the rights to the cool trump. So you've got certain cards, and let's say you want from these cards, I don't know, you've got a couple of high uh, hearts, you've got some even higher diamonds. You might bid for diamonds. Anyway. What you're looking to do is then bid to see whether or not uh, you want to bid for a certain trump and your minimum bid is, bid is going to be six and then other teams are then going to bid and try and outbid you for that trump and you're trying to gain points based on the cards in your hand. So the goal of the game is to be the first team to score 100 points. You and your partner or partners, depending if you're playing obviously two by two or three by three, try and score and take points um, from those cards in order to score points as well. So scoring. So now let me talk to you about the different kinds of cards which you'll score. So in Pedro, only certain specific cards are worth points and their values do vary. The most valuable cards are the five of trumps and the five of the same colour as trump. So let's just get out that one. So let's say you happen to have the five of clubs. The five of the same colour, of course, would be the five of spades. So anyway, these are separate. Just hit that like button, show me you enjoy the content, uh, hit the subscribe button to show me that uh, yeah, you're interested in seeing your new stuff. Got loads of regular board games coming, not just traditional card games. As well as please check out the comments and descriptions for anything else I might add. I might have said Pedro rather than Pedro. And lastly, uh, yeah, hit the notification bell to check out anything else that's coming along. Okay, so again, these will be uh, the most powerful card in the game. And um, remember, of course, it's going to be spades and clubs or diamonds and hearts, vice versa, etc. And basically, if this is that trump suit, that's going to be what's got known as the offsuit pedi or just the pedro. Now, in typical Californian pedro, which is the default setting for playing for this version of the game on Board Game Arena, at least, if you want to try it out, there are 16 points available per hand, and they're broken down as follows. If you happen to have an ace, so if you happen to win a hand containing an ace, you and your team are going to score one point. If you happen to score a, a three in your hand, you're scoring yourself three points. If you happen to get a 10 in your hand, so again, a keep reference to this, you're gonna score yourself one point. Again, we talked about the fives. They're worth five points each, again, off suit or with a regular trump. And finally, whoever happens to play a two, they themselves are going to always score one point. So if you score any twos, you're scoring yourself one point regardless. It's always the person who plays the card, not who wins it. Okay, and ultimately that adds up to a total of 16 points. So remember, the special rule for the two is always goes to the player who plays it. It can't be taken by another card. Now let's get back to bidding. So bidding, players get one chance to bid the ability to choose trump for the hand. Players are each dealt nine cards of which they're going to be bidding to the right of the dealer with the lowest possible bid being six, as I mentioned, and a maximum of 16, which is the sum of all the point total cards available here. If a player doesn't want to bid, they just say pass and it goes to the next player and you cannot bid the same amount as I mentioned as a prior player. You must either outbid the existing bid or pass, as you can imagine, and bidding always ends with the dealer having the final option to bid. If no team has placed a bid, the dealer may place a bid of at least six. Once the winning bid has been determined, the winning bidder calls trump for the hand and all players then discard any non-trump cards of the dealer. Uh, basically, um, uh, any non-trump cards, and then the dealer then proceeds to fill out all the hands with six cards to play with. So if that's going to be an example, let's take these hands. Let's just do one hand. And let's say I'm going to, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's say I've got these cards. Let's say I don't bid. Someone else says we're going to go with, uh, well, we'd like it to be diamonds, but let's say they've gone with spades. But we've got quite lucky. At least we've got three spades. So they don't see what we have, but they now know I've got three spades. And I'm then going to be dealt out six more cards. Two, three, four, five, six. And then in this case, this is what I'll be working with. So I've got any more spades? Yeah, I've got an extra spade. Cool. So as you can see, that's nine cards. So I'm going to be playing with these cards. So um, again, you've got to watch out for if you are going to be bidding. And I'll come back to how that comes and bites you if that's the case. 
So uh, again, we've talked about that. We've discarded those cards. We're now back up to our full complement of cards. Um, and uh, anyway, and then we're going to be doing as a special benefit. The dealer also looks through the remainder of the deck and adds any remaining uh, trumps to the hand as well. Uh, so that's going to be this hand, obviously not the discard. And it's also possible for a player to basically end with more than six uh, trumps in their hand. So of course that could occur too. And if they happen, they must play two cards at a time, one of which uh, may be a point card until they return to the normal hand size of the round. Okay, on to playing. So player begins at the winning bidder. The first trick must begin with a trump card and each player plays a card to the table and the highest trump card uh, basically works like in a normal deck order. So ace is high. And after that first trick, any card may be led to begin a trick. If a trump is led, then other players must follow suit. If they can't follow suit, they must discard from the remaining cards and basically out of play for the remainder of the hand. If a non-trump offsuit card is led, then any card may be played. However, in offsuit situations, trump cards may still take precedence over non-trump cards, as you can imagine, in order to determine who wins the trick. Also, the trump five, remember, is always considered slightly higher than the offsuit same color five, which can basically be thought of as the four and a half of the trump when determining who won the trick. So let's talk about ending the hand. So, and now we're talking about the final part of the game. So once all cards, basically all those point cards being taken, um, the hand is over and all remaining cards discarded. The non-bidding team basically always scores whatever points they won during the play. So for example, any twos, whatever they played as well. And the bidding team only scores again points that they made for their bid. So the bidding team um, doesn't make their bid. They've basically gone set and their, uh, their point total is negatively affected by the bid amount. If the bidding team makes their bid, then their score, they basically score as many points as for the hand. In addition, if the bidding team bids 16, then they receive a special bonus of double points if they take all 16 cards. And that's obviously 32 points in total. However, bidding 16 to 32 in this manner also comes with double the penalty for not making a bid. So remember, you're bidding more for the right to take the suit, but then you've still got to be able to make the amount of cards that you're working towards. So you've got to be able to win that amount of tricks. That's something to be aware of. And in terms of ending the game, the game ends, as I mentioned, when one cheat reaches or exceeds 100 points. If two teams both cross 100 points in the same hand, the bidding team is considered to be the winner because they've taken that risk. Now, this is a game I give a 6 out of 10 to. I think it's good. But specifically for Board Game Arena, which is where I think I prefer to play it, trying to get that team specific to 6 takes a long time. You're spending weeks trying to find those people. And for that reason, I recommend playing it at a maybe a 2 versus 2. Well, thanks very much. Hope you found that of interest. Any questions, please let me know. And there's further details available online. All the best. Bye for now.